Hey friends, today we are moving out of my apartment here in Florida next to Walt Disney World and into my first house. I can't believe it. I can say I'm a homeowner now and I wanted to make a little video to share my experiences with you in case you ever plan on moving down to Florida. Just give you some of my insights and basically an update on the moving situation. We're going to go around, do some shopping, buy some household items, maybe some Disney stuff and uh, get all squared away in the house. So we're going to pack up our bags move to a new house and have a beautiful moving day anywho's let's go do this and here it is my old apartment in Windermere that I'm moving out of I lived here for the past two years it's a one bedroom apartment above a garage and then I have some storage and then the staircase that you guys always see Gracie run down and uh, yeah it's only about 2.5 miles down the road from the Magic Kingdom so it's very close to Disney and I'm gonna go up and show you guys around. I don't think I've ever showed you the outside, only for privacy reasons, but since I'm moving now and I'm not gonna be here anymore, I might as well show you around the apartment. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more of the packing and moving, but unfortunately I had to move during Hurricane uh, or Tropical Storm Debbie, and uh, there was no time to dally lag, so we just needed to get the stuff from one apartment into the house. But now the apartment's empty and I wanna show you guys around it, then maybe go out and get something to eat, go shopping for some Disney household items. You know, I gotta fill up the brand new house. I'm going from a one bedroom to a, a whole house, so I don't have a lot of stuff, and uh, I figured, uh, I would just document the day and uh, share my experiences with you. I did hire movers to come in to move my apartment. It was a one bedroom apartment. It cost just about a thousand dollars and that's to pack everything up and just put it in the house. And man, I'll tell you, during the, the, the storms, I'm glad that I decided to do that because there was no way. There's no way I could have done it all. So now we'll head in. I'll show you the old apartment and uh, then uh, we're going to clean up and uh, turn the keys in and say goodbye. And here is my old apartment. I lived here for the past two years and it's a one bedroom uh, garage apartment. It's above a garage. And honestly, I had a lot of good times here. I still have a little cleaning to do, but I got almost everything out and I have to take the wall mounts off from the TV. Uh, but it looks completely different without everything in here. And I was paying, like I said, close to $3,000 a month for this. It ha only has one bathroom, one bedroom. I wonder if Gracie's in here. Gracie! Oh, there she is. Doesn't it look different without any of the furniture? She's like, what's going on here, Dad? You got the bathroom right here, the kitchen. This is where I used to keep all of my clothes over here. And then a little laundry room. And then you uh, go downstairs to the garage. This is where Gracie would always be waiting for me when I get home. I'm kind of sad to be leaving. I have a lot of great memories here. Now, don't get me wrong, I love living in this apartment. I made so many amazing memories the past two years, and the reason it's so expensive is because of the close proximity to Disney World. Like I said, it's about eight minute drive to the Magic Kingdom. I can watch Happily Ever After from my living room. I can see the fireworks in the balcony, and like, that's so cool, but that's why it's so expensive. I checked my last like lease renewal, and it was $2,600, and I gotta pay extra for Gracie, and then I had the garage garage downstairs so like I said you're looking around three thousand dollars a month uh, so if you sign a 10 month lease that's a thirty thousand dollar like commitment that's a down payment on a house and honestly it's not just this like it's not just this apartment complex it's literally all in this area it's become a very desirable living area like everybody wants to move here every week I run into uh, a new like family or a new couple that just moved down from up north either from Pennsylvania New York uh, Virginia Virginia and they decided to come to Florida and it just raises uh, the prices because people want to live here and I'm so happy that I was able to buy a house it's been my life goal I, yeah, I've been saving my whole life to do this and uh, it happened and I can't believe it it's so amazing but I will miss this apartment now I have to uh, finish up cleaning and then we got to turn the keys in and me and Gracie will head over to the house maybe get something to eat it's just been a lot. It's been a great, I'm kind of sad. I always get sad and emotional when I leave apartments. <laughs> Literally, I would sit right out here and just see happily ever after. And it was such an amazing view. And I'm gonna miss that most. I'm probably gonna miss that a lot, but luckily I'm not moving too far away. I'm actually moving closer to Disney. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the new house later on in the video, but now it's time to leave. 
Gotta do Gracie one last time coming down the steps. Gracie! Oh, where is the prettiest princess Dalmatian in the world? There she is! What are you doing? Are you ready to move? Gracie's gonna love the new house though. She's got plenty of space to run around. She's got a yard, an outdoor area. And uh, I think once she gets all settled and she's gonna be happy. Right now, she doesn't know what's going on. She just sees a bunch of stuff leaving and she's like, is this happening again? Is it happening again? Living in Windermere is amazing. I'd rather live over on this side of town than Celebration or Kissimmee or Dr. Phillips. It's quiet and you basically, like I said, you live behind the Magic Kingdom. This road that I'm standing on right now leads right into Storybook Circus and the Contemporary and Tron. And it's only a five minute drive. And they have other great accommodations here. Like they have Publix and they have uh, Gators and Dunkin' Donuts. And I looked at some of the other apartments in there. Like this one here is MMA. This is an apartment next to my my apartment complex i lived in venetian isle and their one bedroom apartments for very small studios were over two grand a month uh so you know what i mean it, it's a very expensive area because it's a very nice area just along this sidewalk is my apartment well my old apartment this is the other apartment complex i was talking about mma and it overlooks a nice little lake you have a park me and gracie used to walk this all the time and this is the road i was talking about you take this road and it leads right on into the magic kingdom and i thought about doing a little time lapse to show you I'm on my own, broken and alone I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare That's pretty amazing, isn't it? I think it was under three minutes, and right in front of us is Disney University. You can see Cinderella Castle. Uh, you can't film behind that fence. That's why I stopped here at the gas station and Playa Pizza, just so you can see how close it is, and I really love it. I think living in Windermere behind the Magic Kingdom, you're close to Magic Kingdom, but you're far away from Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and pretty far away from Disney Springs, uh, but... I think this is the best place to live. I think it's way better than Celebration. I think uh, if I would have rank them, it would go Windermere, Winter Garden, Celebration, Dr. Phillips, and then probably Kissimmee and Bay Hill. Well, Bay Hill is very expensive, but uh, those are like my top five neighborhoods around Walt Disney World. But look at that. Isn't that cool? That's all the cast members parking, getting ready for their day at the Magic Kingdom. And then Disney University is literally to the left there. I love living here. You can come here and sit here and watch the fireworks. And they're beautiful because they shoot them off literally in the parking lot in front of us. Well, now that I showed you how cool and close it is to live in Windermere, I think it's time we go get something to eat maybe, do a little shopping, and then I'm going to head back to the house. Back to my home. My home. I decided on taking a quick lunch break and uh, picked Disney's Port Orleans Resort as uh, my uh, spot to get something to eat. I love getting jambalaya from the uh, Riverside Mill. And you can also walk over to French Corner and get some beignets if you wanted to. And it's just really nice here. Look how beautiful. They got some rocking chairs up there. I love it. I love Port Orleans. One of the best things about living close to Walt Disney World, especially if you're an annual pass holder, uh, like for me, like to go get something to eat back home, like one of my favorite restaurants would be like a nine, 10 minute drive. Uh, it's the same thing with all of the Walt Disney World resorts and the parks, and you can just come and grab something to eat at the quick service locations. Not so much like uh, the Magic Kingdom loop. They don't let you park there unless you have a confirmed reservation, but you can come to Port Orleans, come get some beignets. And all you have to do is tell them at the uh, entrance, they'll ask for your ID, and uh, the food's really cool and I just like hanging out here like just cozying up on a rocking chair and relaxing it's very nice very cozy Fulton's General Store is definitely one of my favorite like Disney merchandise locations it's so cool and it's so big and they even have like a bunch of character like animatronics and uh, I'm gonna do some shopping I'm gonna try to find stuff for the new home they have mostly a lot of Halloween stuff up in the front area here they always keep the most current things here you know what I mean they always got the the newest trends in the front of the store oh here's the home decor stuff Look at this. Oh, look at this little Mickey silhouette like uh, picture. This is kind of nice. 
I like that. And then you got some cups. And you got some bowls, some wine corks, even little soap dis. Oh, look at that. I can get some fancy Mickey soap dispensers or Mickey cutting board. Oh, and they even started selling Leah Chase and uh, Dookie Chase uh, uh, seasoning here from the restaurant in New Orleans. And uh, she's actually uh, the inspiration for Tiana, Princess Tiana. I don't know what else they got. I mean, a lot of the stuff you can find. Oh, the Mickey pillow. Oh, I got to get it. I'm happy. Oh, and they have this too. No way. I love these. I was actually eyeing these up. And I didn't want to buy anything until I bought a house. You know what I mean? And now I'm home. Oh, and they got the towels. I don't know why I like these Mickey pillows. They're just plain, but they're actually very comfy. They're very nice and very... I don't know. I can definitely... I want to put a couple on the couch. Actually, I should probably get two. I don't even know how much they are. It's actually a weighted pillow. So that's why it has that feel to it. And... Uh, oh, it's $44.99. Maybe I won't get two of them. <laughs> I might have to ponder about those pillows now. They're $44, but I do get my annual pass discount, and I probably need at least two. Oh, but look at this shirt. Fishing the Day Away, Disney's Port Orleans. Wow, that's a great shirt. Mickey right there fishing. And these are the uh, different characters I was talking about. Look at Goofy in the chimney here. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Honestly, and I think they have more displays like this up front. Uh, oh, no. Actually, they got them right here. That's what I mean. This is like a little merchandise store, but they add, like, so nice, like, little touches, and they keep it really nicely themed. Oh, and they got some hats here, too. Oh, you never can go wrong with a new hat. Well, now I've come to a little dilemma here because I was thinking about getting two of these pillows even though I know how much they are, but I have a really good place for them and they're weighted. And the reason I wanted to get the weighted pillow is because I always feel like my pillows are flying off the couch. So these ones will stay put a little bit easier. But uh, look at this. They have Halloween, Mickey, and Minnie pillows. And this is a set of two. So you get Mickey and Minnie for only $33.99. Oh, $39.99. So two, two pillows for the price of one, but it's seasonal. But I love Halloween so much. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be a tough decision. <laughs> it's really funny when you have to decide on which Mickey pillow you want. Well, I decided on getting the weighted Mickey pillows. I know they were a little bit more, but I like them a little bit more because, like I said, I get to year, use them year-round. They're going to stay on the couch. And uh, now I think uh, maybe we'll go get some uh, jambalaya. It's really quiet in the quick service location today. Usually it's like busy and loud, but I kind of like that. Here's the menus. They have a bakery, they have the grill, the pizza and pasta, and the salads and sandwiches. But I'm here for the uh, jambalaya. Jambalaya and gumbo. Look at that. I like that they have like a little bit different like options other than just burgers and chicken strips. Even though I do like those chicken strips. They even have like beef po' boys, steakhouse burger. And even uh, some good uh, desserts, too. But no beignets. You got to go over to French Quarter for the beignets. It's such a nice day. I decided on coming outside to eat my jambalaya. And look at that. There's the jambalaya right there. And it's got the cornbread. And it's got chicken in there. It's so good. I absolutely use, I used to get gumbo and jambalaya. Oh, wow. Look at that side. Look at that chunk of chicken. Oh, I don't want to lose my chicken. <laughs> But you really can't beat the view. Just hanging out here, eating jambalaya. I love how they're pumping in the uh, jazz music. You know? Oh, and then they got the uh, Medicine Show Arcade. I honestly think after I finish eating all my jambalaya, I might go in the arcade just to hang out for a bit. They do have the massage chairs, which are very nice. You can just hop in, get a nice little massage. I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, they're good for days when you're, you know, coming back from the parks and you're just beat. And honestly, I just got done moving. So oh, we'll see. Jambalaya, though. You also get to hear music from Guitar Hero, Space Invaders. Oh, look! Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. I love this arcade. And I love these massage chairs. Honestly, it feels so good. $5 for 12 minutes? You can't beat that! 
as I was leaving to head out. Look at this. You get Donald and Pluto in here. Hey, Donald. How are you? Having a good day? Yeah, that's a, that's a good day to me. <laughs> I'm having a great day. Oh, can we take a picture real quick? Can I do that? Go right here. Jeez. Thanks, Donald. I came to Port Orleans for some food, and now I've got a belly full of jambalaya and two Mickey pillows. Can't go wrong with that. All right, well, enough of the jambalaya business, but I did enjoy the jambalaya, and it was nice to see Donald on the way out. It's time to head to my brand new home, my home forever home, and uh, give you guys a little tour. Now, I'm not going to show you guys everything, only just because of privacy reasons, uh, but uh, I do want to show you a little bit, and I'm in the middle of moving, so nothing is really set up, like nothing like is set up in stone, and I'll probably do a bigger tour once I get back from D23. Oh, Gracie, there she is. I'm home. What do you think so far? Oh, here she comes. There she is. Ooh, show everyone the new house. This is our living room. Yeah, give them the tour. Oh, up on the couch. Yeah, there you go. She loves it here. This is definitely a big house. Way bigger enough for me and Gracie, but we love it. She loves it. Look at her. She's just living her best little doggy life in a brand new house with her daddy. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'll show you a little bit more. Like I mentioned, I have the main living room here, and then I head out this way to the kitchen. And it's a very nice kitchen, a very, very uh, open kitchen. And then, oh, I wanna show you guys what I end up doing with those Mickey pillows. Look at this. Ah, uh, isn't that perfect? I ended up getting these little blue swivelly chairs at uh, Home Goods. That's a great store. And this is like a little lounge area. I'm gonna put a TV there. And it's just really nice, it's cozy. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, and I can't believe that I could say that I live here, that this is my home. Honestly, I've been emotional the past couple of days, and I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video because it's really, it's, it's, it's hard for me to process that I've actually accomplished something like this in my life. Like, honestly, I've been in survival mode my whole entire life. I've never been able to, like, even think about buying a home. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, even with my mom, we grew up in the housing authority. We grew up in the projects. My dad left my mom at a young age, and we grew up, like I said, off the system. And when I was 16 years old, I left my mom's house and decided to just start working you know, full time. And uh, ever since then, I've just been living paycheck to paycheck and just trying to survive. So like <laughs> thinking about saving up and buying a house was like just not in the cards for me. Like it was never, it was never even a possibility. And in when I started making these YouTube videos, I thought, wow, I mean, you can make some money from, you know, YouTube. I mean, it's entertainment, people watch, and then they add, you know, ads in it, kind of like commercial breaks. So like when I was growing up, I was watching TV shows and uh, then, you know, commercials would come on and that's how the TV shows made money. And that's kind of how YouTube makes money. And it sparked this creative like brain. Like I, I, I didn't know that I had the skills and I've never challenged myself to ever do or become anything. And I just want to say thank you guys so much because every single person that's ever watched my videos has contributed to the fact that I've been able to uh, accomplish my dream. And uh, it's, it's like unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. This is something that, you know, it, it's really hard for me to like understand that I, I I'm here. Like it's really, it, it's kind of a shocker. And uh, yeah, I'm just very thankful. So, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for giving me the opportunity to make these videos and entertain you and uh, kind of give me this passion to do better and, you know, be somebody and accomplish something in my life. And I honestly feel like I did that. <laughs> like I really did. I did it. One of my favorite things about this house, though, it's got to be the closet. Look at this. 
I finally have enough closet space that I can hang up most of my Roosevelt shirts. I still have a lot of them that I've never even opened. And look at this. I mean, I don't have any more room to hang any more Roosevelt's. I got this little gap over here, but I've got a lot of bins full still. So we're going to have to be a little creative, but this is such a huge closet. Look at, I have a little hat shelf too. Put all my hats, look at the fedoras over the years. I like to hang on to this, this is the bowler hat. Look, like, isn't this cool? I've hanged on to almost every single hat that I've wore before in the past just because I'm just, I, I love everything that I do. And I know that one day I'm going to pick up one of these hats and I'm just going to be like, I remember that day. I remember wearing that hat, you know? And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Look at this. <laughs> like I mentioned, I'll give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth tour of the house in future videos. Uh, I have to get everything set up. I have so many cool Disney props and movie props and memorabilia that I want to display in my house. Uh, I'm just excited for something like this to be happening. Now I have to get ready to leave <laughs> because I just moved in. Uh, I got my everything kind of unpacked like the big furniture but I still need to like put away everything uh, and uh, I have to catch a flight to California to go to D23 this weekend which I am so excited for I'm excited to go to D23 I'll be there and I'll be at the Roosevelt's booth on Saturday I think we're gonna do the meet and greet from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. because I need to leave because we're going to the Honda Center at 7 o'clock uh, so if anyone's at D23 uh, this upcoming weekend come by the Roosevelt's booth I'll be there Saturday from 4 p.m to six and uh, uh we'll be able to hang out and chit chat and uh i'm excited i'm excited for the future of the videos i'm excited just to have something that i can take care of and uh be proud of you know a home a home so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and uh we'll see you next time bye